Hey guys, another weekend and another event. Luckily, another night event because it's been incredibly hot here the last few weeks. So, this time we're taking the C63 back out again, but at an autocross and it's at a very tight track. Now I'm going to have to recalibrate my brain for a different type of driving again. Not much to talk about, I just got to get loaded up and get going because the event's in a handful of hours and I drew the short stick because I agreed to help out the club and be the chief of timing for this event. So I got to go there, set up the laptop, set up the timing and hopefully not screw up the whole event for everybody. So I'm going to get going. We'll get there. Hopefully we get to run at night. Last year when we did this event, I didn't get to run at night. I got to run at sundown. Let's try to win an event for a change. Alright guys, so we're finally up and running. Uh, I guess we have the best group to run in because we were running last. So as you could see in the background, it's getting really dark. Probably by the time we're running, it's going to be very dark. So it's kind of cool to actually get the full night experience with it. So I got to work first, take a break, and now run. Honestly, it's probably the best setup. Wish me luck. It's a really, really tight course. It's going to be tricky. It's going to be a lot of find your line and see if it works. There's a bunch of different ways you could go about it, a bunch of different corners. So, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see uh, We'll see how it works out. It's big car, tight course. Arthur and I were talking and discussing kind of how rough it's gonna be. There might be some first gear spots too. first run yeah
number three. We're in quite a healthy lead, surprisingly, but like I said, it's very, very tight at the top. We'll see if we could hold it. So we're still in the lead, just. Now people are cleaning up their runs and not hitting cones. That's good for me. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but he just overshot that one. Almost a 32. Getting there. All right, we're all, that head knocked off two tenths. So slowing down to go fast obviously works in that last section. I could, I could clean it up a little bit more there. Good. Feel a little bit better, but I don't know how much better I feel. off a good amount of time to get the lead back so I'm gonna try downshifting the first on this last section and hopefully it works out for me it is uh, I have 
nothing really to complain about. Unfortunately, I got edged out at the very last minute to first place, so I ended up taking second. Like I was mentioning throughout the event, our class is insanely competitive. We are all right there, but for whatever reason, it just worked out for me, and I led the whole event up until my last run, so it's unfortunate, but I have nothing really to be mad about because I made top 10 of the whole event out of like 80 some cars, which is a rarity to make, especially in the luxury sedan. One thing I did, I shook things up for the championship because the guy that was battling for second finished fourth and that's going to throw his points all off. It's going to bump me. I don't know where it's going to put me, honestly. But it was a really fun event. It was cool to actually be able to run at night. I didn't do any of the fun runs. I had my hands full with being the chief of timing for the event. But it kind of brought me back to the old days of when I used to be motorsports director. So that was kind of nice. Overall, I don't want to toot my own horn, but we had the two events back to back. My driving has been for one reason or another on another level. But I was able to every single run squeeze more time and just keep pushing the car. And I, I, I don't know. I don't have an explanation for that. But for whatever reason, lately I've just been in tune and things have been working out. A lot of people struggled on this track. There was one corner in particular that... I was kind of worried about it for some reason. I just had it dialed in and I probably took that corner better than even some of the guys that took FTD or near it. I just, maybe because I thought about it so much and how my car is gonna struggle through it, I just had it dialed in. I'd point and shoot the car through it and I feel like I made up a lot of time over the other guys in that one corner. But with that disappointment on my end, it's not really a disappointment, but I'm disappointed because I like to win and I'm competitive. We'll leave this one off here. We'll give the C63 a bit of a break. Uh, the next event is a non-points event for charity, so I'm going to run the Golf R and see how that does. It's the first time running an all-wheel drive car in over a decade at autocross. So we'll see how that thing does. But uh, yeah, this thing needs a break, needs an oil change. It's done a lot of work and it has just been an absolute beast. Again, two weekends in a row, I'm driving home in AC, silence, and comfort after cleaning up at an event. So it, it, it's, it's a truly astonishing machine. I will park this car, give it a bit of a break, give it some TLC, and we'll be back at it again with this one while we focus on some other content. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you don't, please do. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.